It's been around about 20 years that the drills have been, been used for ice fishing. It's becoming in the last 10 something that everybody's starting to do. We started getting into it because it's faster, it's lighter. We do a lot of camera work. I run an AquaView Micro, uh, one of the revolutions, and I keep that in my left hand constantly, and I'm, I'm running with my right hand on the drill. As I walk, I'll have this in one hand, I'll push this up against my side and guide it down, and when I pull it back out, I actually got my, I've custom made adapters to fit up underneath my, underneath my arm, so I lean on it, and then I use my camera with both hands. And then as I can wrap up, the revolutions are beautiful because now I can reel up and I don't have a bunch of line out and I'll walk to the next hole. That's just gonna get me around the lake much faster than any other thing. I, I don't have to pre-drill holes. I can drill them as I want. And so as I'm going and want a slightly deeper hole or if I'm in a thick patch of weeds and I want to step to the side two feet, I can just raise up and hit another hole next to me and I don't have to go through the trouble of starting an auger or going back and getting it or using two hands and worrying about the gas and everything else. So we've decided to run Milwaukee drills. Uh, it happens to be a brushless motor. We've had brushed motors in the past. This is more of a recent technology. Uh, the brushed motors would burn up the brushes. You, you're using them pretty heavy and it, they're gonna need to be replaced probably every other year, probably not every year, but pretty regular. When you go to select a drill, what you wanna look for is the torque spec. There's models that'll be very similar that won't have the same torque and that's gonna be your most important number. I wanna say the M18 fuel we're running is at 1200 inch pounds. I'm using that kind of as a standard benchmark. I know that our old ones are about 725 and they worked, but there's a very noticeable difference. Uh, in lieu of torque, I've seen some drills that can turn down the speed and if it's not as torquey, if it has less speed, it'll still cut fine. So you either wanna have an adjustable speed or one of the higher rated torque drills and it's pretty much gonna have to be a half inch. Uh, a lot of them come with a hammer drill option. This one does, which is meaningless for cutting ice. But uh, that just shows you that you're at the higher end of your cordless drill range. And again, it, many manufacturers are gonna be fine. And uh, just wanna check into your torque before you grab your drill off of your workbench and go and try and cut ice with it.